What we are going to do here today is to add a pop-up slideshow to this existing project. First of all, get logged in to the back end of your website and then look through your project list and find the appropriate project. This one is called Lionhouse Project. Okay, what we want to do here to match him with the rest of the website is to add a strip of thumbnails across the bottom which in, when anybody clicks on them shows an enlargement that they can skip through like a slideshow. What we need to look for here is the extended image manager. You'll notice the little picture with a star next to it. This is your extended media manager. If we open that up you're going to see all your current pictures all listed in folders here all within the stories folder. What we're going to do is to make a new folder just to keep all the images really neat and tidy so we can find everything and we're going to call this the Lion House Project. Okay that's now saving and if we scroll down here we can see the Lion House Project. So we're going to open that folder up because we want to upload our new images into that folder. This is your upload button. If you hover over any of these icons, a little tooltip will appear just to help you remember what things are for. What's new here is you can drag and drop your files onto this interface, but we're going to use the browse button today. Now, the things we want to do here is to set the resize and the thumbnail for our slideshows. This is useful because we don't want our pictures to be too large popping up on screen for the end user. And also we want our thumbnails to stay consistent with what we've already got on the website. So I'm going to change that down to 100 pixels. And then I'm going to browse for my new pictures. Now I've got some here that are they're already 800 pixels. They're not too big, but the uh, uploader is going to resize those for us. Now I'm going to take those first three images there using the shift key so I can select multiples. There we go. And then we can hit the upload button button and you'll see a progress bar here as they're uploading the pictures and resizing them and making that thumbnail that we want for the content. Okay now we can see our images have been uploaded we're going to select this first one the Lionhouse 020.jpg and click the pop-up button and we need to select the JCE media pop-up. Now it's going to ask us there do we want to use the thumbnail for the pop-up link? Yes we do. Now the one other thing we need to do here is to group our pictures. This is a really important thing. That's what will make all those pictures sit together in the one slideshow. So we're going to call this Lion House. So you just need to remember that one. Now we can have a pop-up icon if we, want, if we want. That puts a little magnifying glass on the picture. Uh, we haven't used that previously so I'm going to switch that off. Now if we go back to the main image you'll see there it's using the thumbnail, that one there. What we probably want to do in here, if we want to be really search engine friendly, is to put a, a better name in here. We'll call this the Lion House Porch Project. Now we're not going to worry about the alignment because we're sitting it underneath the text, so we don't need it to float left or right. But we do want is some padding around it because we don't want all the pictures to be squashed up together or butting up hard against the text. So I think I'm going to try. 10 pixels there. I'll leave that checked because what it'll do is add 10 pixels around all the sides. Right, and we click the insert button and there's our first picture. I'm going to save that, go to the front end of the website and we'll refresh this page. Yep, here's our thumbnail and if we click on that, yep, our nice pop-up with the title we've given it. Alright, stop that. Now I go back to the editor. You see we've got the 10 pixel spacing there. You can see the cursor flashing ready for the next picture. So back to the media manager again. We want the second picture. We're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're going to use the JC Media pop-up. Yes, we want to use the thumbnail. We need this picture to be in the same group as the previous one so that the slideshow will work. So we need to type Lionhouse in there. We're going to switch the icon off again. 
back to the image, yes we can see the thumbnails in there again we want to put that 10 pixels around click the insert that's our second thumbnail in, we're going to save the page go back to our test page and refresh so we can see there's our second image now we click on the first one again you can see we've got two pictures in the group now we can switch backwards and forwards from let's close that down again you can see we're ready for our third image back to the extended media manager again choose our third picture pop-ups media manager yes we want to use the thumbnail no to the icon again really important that lion house group back to the image just check everything's okay there it's using the thumbnail we can give another title in there if we want so that lion house porch side side view and some padding again that's 10 pixels around and insert save refresh great we've now got our three pictures and we should be able to skip through all three pictures Yep, I'm happy with that, so we can save and close.